question. Drag on a fishing reel it is like the brakes in your car. And what it does is it puts pressure on the spool of your reel and it helps you bring in the fish. What happens is there's uh, discs and stuff in here that help when you tighten this down, it puts more pressure on that spool. When you loosen this on this spinning reel, you can see that the spool gets real loose and there's less pressure on that. To set the drag, I tell folks to, it's kind of a thing that's, it takes a little bit of experience for, for what fishing you're doing. And the best thing to do is to set it to where you think there's enough coming off when it's not really too tight, okay? It's coming off nice and smooth with this cut type of a pull. And you cast out, if the fish, if there's too little drag, what happens is the fish will take your bait and it'll actually drop the, the bait or the lure. If you have too much drag on, for instance, in this case, what happens is the fish will take your lure or your bait and you can see that no drag comes out and it'll most likely whip that lure or the, or the bait out of the fish's mouth. And so you would need to adjust it accordingly.